carefully. The Thieves' Guild has made a black briar. If your allegiance lies with the Empire, we haven't much to discuss. You look like you could use a drink. What do you say to some cheap meat? you're here. I think some of these people are beginning to suspect who I am. Are you ready to face the guild? Keep your eyes open. I'm not sure what to expect when we enter the system. Better have a damn good reason to be here with that murderer. Please, lower your weapon so we can speak. I have proof that you've all been misled. No tricks, Carlia, or I'll cut you down where you stand. Now what's this so-called proof you speak of? I have Gallus' journal. I think you'll find its contents disturbing. Let me see. No, it can't be. Can't be true. I've known Mercer too long. It's true, Brynjolf. Every word. Mercer's been stealing from the guild for years, right under your noses. There's only one way to find out if what the last says is true. Delvin, I'll need you to open the vault. Wait just a blessed moment, Bryn. What's in that book? What did it say? It says Mercer's been stealing from our vault for years. Gallus was looking into it before he was murdered. Mega Mercer opened up a vault that needs two keys. It's impossible. Could he pick his way in? That door has the best puzzle locks money can buy. There's no way it can be picked open. He didn't need to pick the vault. What's she all about? Use your key on the vault, Delvin. We'll open it up and find out the truth. Use my key, but the vault's still locked up tighter than a drum. Now use yours. Ninety-eight. It's gone. Everything's gone. Get in here, all of you. The gold. The jewels. He's all good. That son of a bitch. I'll kill him. Vex, put it away. Right now. We can't afford to lose our heads. We need to calm down and focus. Do what he says, Vex. This ain't helping right now. Fine. We do it your way. For now. Delvin, Vex, watch the flagon. If you see Mercer, come tell me right away. Look, if it will. Look, before I help you track Mercer down, I need to know what you learned from Carlia. I mean, everything. I... 
I feared that was the case. From that last entry in Gallus's diary, it looks like he was getting close to exposing Mercer to the guild. Anything else? What? Nightingales? But I always assumed they were just a tail. A way to keep the young footpads in line. Was there anything else she told you? Trying to make Mercer look bad in front of Maven, eh? Clever lass. Was there anything else? Then I have an important task for you. I need you to break into Mercer's home and search for anything that could tell us where he's gone. Aye. A gift from the Black Briars after they kicked the previous family out. A place called Rift Wheeled Manor. He never stays there, just pays for the upkeep on it. Hired some lout by the name of Bold to guard the place. Be careful, lad. This is the last place in Skyrim I'd ever want to send you. Just find a way in, get the information and leave. And you have permission to kill anyone that stands in your way. Good question. I've only set foot inside a few times myself, and that was in Mercer's company. If you can get past his trained watchdog, I think your best bet might be the ramp to the second floor balcony in his backyard. No. It's some sort of crazy contraption Mercer commissioned for quick escapes. I'd wager a well-placed shot at the ramp's mechanism would lower it in a hurry. Huh. That'd be bald. A real piece of work, that one. Mercer's holding something over his head, keeping him loyal. Talk to Vex. She used to know him very well, if you catch my meaning. Better question would be, what did he leave? Mercer took everything. Even all of our plans are gone. Before Mercer took over, Gallus started collecting every bit of material he could on locations the guild could heist. Museums, keeps, estates, you name it. By the time Mercer took over the guild, we must have had a few dozen. I don't have a clue. That door is impenetrable. Without two keys, it's impossible to open. I have a key, Delvin has a key, and Mercer has a key. That's it. There are no other copies. Careful at Mercer's... I can't believe this is happening, lad. Careful at Mercer's... I don't want to lose anyone. I'm really for you as an open mind. Without it, I've gotten the So, you're bringing If I see Frey, here, I'll eh? pluck his eyes don't from his skull. Like All me. right? But if you get arrested, don't blame it on me. That pig? Oh, I have info on him. More than you care to know. Vald? Good side? I think you have the wrong person. The only thing Vald understands is gold. A man after my own heart. Sure, but he'll ask for a whole lot. I mean, you are asking him to betray Mercer Frey. Your best bet would be to erase his debt with Maven Blackbriar. If you talk to her, she might be able to give you the details. Of course, you could just run him through and take what you need off his corpse. I could care less. While you're in there, help yourself to anything in Frey's Even if manner. you're one of us, you I better would. not make trouble. Well, looks like you're fitting in well down here. I'm supposed to allow you to trade in one of your pieces of guild armor. So what will it be? So, who do you think? Of course. Your new piece will enhance your skill. Like you, Tough luck for you then. Come back when you have at least like one of the pieces. Absolutely. Of course. Otherwise oh, really? it wouldn't be much of a reward would now, would it? How can we make that happen? Stabbed in the bank. Stick with me, and he'll never even know you're there. When you're in your grave, and I'm standing over it. Now get out of my way! Control block. Gonna keep eye on the reverse. Hey, 
Watch it. I can't believe he emptied the vault. My damn mercenary. Right come from back under here. our nose. Set one foot in the cistern and I'll cut it off. I damn Mercer to come back here. He sets one foot in the cistern and I'll cut it off. That's it. That's all you've got. on using that weapon? Huh? Who's there? I knew I heard something.
What is it? We've scoured the town and I've spoken to every... Shore's beard? He's going after the eyes of the Falmer? That was gun. If he gets his hands on them, you can be certain he'll be gone for good and set up for life. Agreed. He's taken everything the guild has left, and to go after one of the last greatest heists is just an insult. I've spoken to Carlia and made amends for how the guilds treated her. Now she wishes to speak with both of us. Quickly, we have no time to lose. Until next we meet, La. Everything you ask for. I promise you, all your questions will be answered. I don't you just have to trust me. They were assured me, I swear. Just better hope this one isn't another waste of my Not now, La. Carlia said it was important. Hey! Good to see you. Brynjolf, the time has come to decide Mercer's fate. Until a new guildmaster is chosen, the decision falls to you. I lost, and I've come to a decision. Mercer Frey tried to kill both of you. He betrayed the guild, murdered Gallus, and made us question our future. He needs to die. We have to be very careful, Brynjolf. Mercer is a nightingale. An agent of Nocturnal. And it's all true. Everything I heard in the stories. The Nightingales, their allegiance to Nocturnal, and the Twilight Sepulchre. Yes. That's why we need to prepare ourselves and meet Mercer on equal footing. Just outside of Rifton, beyond the southeast gate is a small path cut up the mountainside. At the end of that path is a clearing, and an old standing stone. I'd ask you both to meet me there. I have some preparations of my own to make. I'll meet you at the start. I have some preparations of my own to make. I'll meet you at the start. What's going on? I'm glad you're here. 
This is the headquarters of the Nightingales, cut into the mountainside by the first of our kind. We've come to seek the edge we need to defeat Mercer Frey. If you'll follow me, I'll try to explain on the way. It's my hope that you will, yes. This way, please. I think we can trust Carlia. Let's see what she's on about. So this is Nightingale Hall. I heard about this place when I joined the game, but I never believed it existed. The assumption that the Nightingales were just a myth is seeded within the guild with purpose. It helped avert attention from our true nature. What's wrong, Bruno? We can almost hear your brow furrowing. I'm trying to understand why I'm here, lass. I'm no priest, and I'm certainly not religious. Why pick me? It's I'm Business. This is not a bad thing. We were the first of the uninitiated to set foot inside in over a century. Now, if you'll both proceed to the armor to don your knight of armor, we can begin the oath. This is enough to make your head spin. Spin, eh? You are here ready for the oath. This is enough to make your head spin, eh? You are here ready for the oath. I think we should trust the lass and take the deal. You are here ready for the oath. Okay, lass, we've got these get-ups on. Now what? Beyond this gate is the first step in becoming a Nightingale. Whoa there, lass. I appreciate the armor, but becoming a Nightingale? That was never discussed. To hold any hope of defeating Mercer, we must have Nocturnal at our backs. If she's to accept you as one of her own, an arrangement must be struck. What sort of arrangement? I need to know the terms. The terms are quite simple, Brynjolf. Nocturnal will allow you to become a Nightingale and use your abilities for whatever you wish. And in return, both in life and in death, you must serve as a guardian of the Twilight Sepulchre. Aye, there's always a catch. But at this point, I suppose there isn't much to lose. If it means the end of Mercer Frey, you can count me in. What about you? Are you ready to transact the oath with Nocturnal? 
Good. After I open the gate, please stand on the western circle. We'll speak when the oath is complete. Call upon you, Lady Nocturnal, Queen of Mirth, and Empress of Shadow. Hear my voice. Ah, oh, Carlyle. I was wondering when I'd hear from you again. Lose something, did we? My lady, I've come before you to throw myself upon your mercy and to accept responsibility for my failure. You're already mine, Carlyle. Your terms were struck long ago. What could you possibly offer me now? I have two others that wish to transact the oath. To serve you both in life and in death. You surprise me, Caroline. This offer is definitely weighted in my favor. My appetite for Mercer's demise exceeds my craving for wealth, Your Grace. Revenge. How interesting. Very well. The conditions are acceptable. You may proceed. Lady Nocturnal, we accept your terms. We dedicate ourselves to you as both your Avengers and your Sentinels. We will honor our agreement in this life and the next until your conditions have been met. Very well. I name your initiates Nightingale. And I restore your status to the same, Carlyle. And in the future, I'd suggest you refrain from disappointing me again. I suggest you talk to Carlyle. Now that you've first. transacted the oath, it's time to reveal the final piece of the puzzle to you. Mercer's true crime. Mercer was able to unlock the guild's vault without two keys because of what he stole from the Twilight Sepulchre. The skeleton key. By doing this, he's compromised our ties to Nocturnal and, in essence, caused our luck to run dry. Well, yes. But the key isn't only restricted to physical barriers. All of us possess untapped abilities. The potential to wield great power securely sealed within our minds. Once you realize the key can access these traits, the potential becomes limitless. I'm afraid that's impossible. If the key isn't returned to its lock in the Twilight Sepulchre, things will never be the same for the Guild. As time passed, our luck would diminish to the point of non-existence. And whether you know it or not, our uncanny luck defines our trade. Very true. In our line of work, it's quite rare we set out to return a stolen item to its rightful owner. Before we depart, Brynjolf has some business to discuss. I suggest you listen to him. Listen, lad. There's one last piece of business we need to settle before we go after Mercer. The leadership of the guild. Listen, lad. There's one last piece of business we need to settle before we go after Mercer.
Carlyle and I had a long discussion before you arrived here. Thanks to your efforts, Mercer's treachery has been exposed. After we deal with him, all that remains is restoring the guild to its full strength. As a result, we both feel that you have the potential of replacing Mercer as leader of the Thieves' Guild. I've been at this game a long time, my friend. A long time. I've stolen trinkets from nobles and framed priests for murder. I'm good at what I do, maybe even one of the best, but it's all I know. I've never been one to lead, never desired it, never cared for it, don't want it. Well, we have a bit of an errand to run before your coronation, so don't get sentimental on me now. Then it's decided. When this is all over and Delvin's contacts assure me that we've regained our footing in Skyrim, we'll handle the details. Until then, we have quite the task ahead. I've been poring over the plans you brought us, and I'm convinced the eyes of the Falma are in the Dwarven ruins at Urkenthand. Carlia and I will meet you there. Prepare yourself, lad. This will be a fight to remember. Aye. And some of what Carlia said is starting to make sense. Mercer may have damaged our reputation and raided our coffers, but this goes well beyond even his twisted form of larceny. Old Delvin kept calling it a curse, and we all laughed at him. Looks like the joke's on us. If you would have asked me that yesterday, I'd have said no, but now I think our chances have improved. Look, call me crazy if you like, but I trust Kalaya. I don't think she'd lead us down a suicidal path. Besides, I'd rather die with some of Mercer's blood on my blade than spend the rest of my life regretting that I ran the other way. Until next we meet, lad. Yes. Now that you're a Nightingale, you may consider this your home. You'll find that this place offers many things that will help you in your endeavors, as well as a wealth of information for you to learn. Once the skeleton key has been restored to the Twilight Sepulchre, I'll make this place my home as well. Your eyes open. Oh!
You picked a bad time to get. <laughs> <laughs> 